Hello, let's do some monetary policy theory. So there's this theory uh, that the monetarist uh, economists have. Uh, it's basically that um, money will create some kind of price level, and it's the amount of goods that will actually change things in the real economy, which work backwards makes perfect sense. You should always adjust for inflationary changes, and uh, if there's more or less money, that's also going to have a big effect on the overall price level. So this is economist Milton Friedman. Milton Friedman, um, among others, popularized uh, this formula here he has on his license plate. Uh, and the formula is that um, the money supply, so the amount of money, times the velocity of money, which is how fast people spend it, is going to equal the price level times uh, y, which is really real GDP. Okay. Uh, so this theory is, is pretty cool. Helps uh, policymakers think about uh, their effects on the on the money supply. Okay. Before we do the problems, let's look real quick at uh, Fred here, and let's look at uh, velocity money. So Fred tracks this. So let's look at the M2 money supply. Okay, so back in 1997, it was 2.2. So uh, this is a fraction of all the transactions, all the spending, uh, divided by the amount of money. So, and it's quarterly adjusted. So what it means is people were spending money. So let me think back to the late 90s, if you were around back then. Uh, lots of spending, people spend money really fast, right? Really, uh, from the 60s to the 80s, it didn't really change much, right? It was between 170 and uh, one, well, 1.7 and 1.8 didn't didn't really change too much. Uh, then in the 80s it uh, increased with the amount of inflation that, uh, that we saw in the early early 70s it went way up. Uh, this this has a lot to do with the advent of computerized credit cards, things like that. In the last 10 years, so right before the Great Recession, it was pretty high. There were lots of spending there, and then people uh, cut their spending, increased their spending again. Uh, and then we're really down to slowing down how fast people spend. Okay, and it's been kind of a good thing if you're on the saving side. If it's been a bad thing if you're on the, you want people to spend money, right? It's been hard to budge that, and it has a lot to do with wages as well. Wages aren't going to rise if there isn't a huge increase in, in spending. This is limited GDP growth, so uh, we're down, but we do see a slight up uptick there. Okay, so that's the reality. Okay, now uh, where did this come from? So. Uh, we've got a problem like this. So suppose that this year's money, money, ah, money supply is 200 billion, nominal GDP is uh, 4 trillion, and real GDP is 2 trillion. So um, one way to do this, since this is in billions, I'm going to convert both of these into trillions. So this is 4,000 billion, and this is 2,000 billion because a thousand billions is a trillion okay so what we've been given is the money supply so the money supply is 200 billion we don't know the velocity of money we don't know the price level so we don't know V and we don't know the price level which is expressed in a percent so similar to the inflation rate um, but we do know real GDP we know real GDP is I'm gonna write two trillion I'm violating my, my new notation here um, so this is what I have, and I have two unknowns. But they're giving us nominal GDP. Why would they do that? Well, uh, remember, real GDP is nominal minus inflation, right? Or it's uh, old prices times quantities, right? So what this is, this is the new prices times the new quantities, and so what. The new prices times the new quantities is nominal GDP. Okay, so they've given us that. That's nice. That basically, this is uh, nominal GDP is the real GDP adjusted for the price level, right? Um, so there, there you go. Okay, so we're coming back over here, and so we've got this number actually is four thousand billion. Sorry, my handwriting there. Okay, so I've got two hundred billion times V equals 4,000 billion. So I'm going to divide by 200 billion and 200 billion. Okay, I'm going to cross things out. So that whole thing crosses out. And then that crosses out, that crosses out, that crosses out. So the velocity of money is 20. Okay, these people spend 
money extremely fast. Right? So now I've got that. Okay. Then I can plug it back in and see what the price level is. So 200 uh, billion times 20 equals um, 2,000 billion times the price level. So here, uh, this is going to end up being 4,000 billion, which is the same as the nominal GDP. Um, and then I'm going to divide it here, 2,000 billion. Man, these numbers are big. Okay, divide by 2,000 billion. It's blue here. So all that gets crossed out. Okay, so that goes away. Okay, and I got four over two, so the price level is two percent. Okay, not too bad of a, an inflation rate there. Okay, uh, let's do one more really quick. All right, suppose this year's money supply is two hundred billion nominal GDP. Okay, so remember MS, uh, whoops, times V equals price level times real GDP, which is Y. Okay, so money supply two hundred billion. We don't know V, but we do know that two trillion here. So this is two thousand billion. So it is divided by two hundred billion. Two hundred billion. That goes away. That goes away. I got twenty over two. Velocity of money is ten in this one. Again, we're really high in in this economy. Okay. Um, now I want the price level. So I've got. Uh, 2,000 billion times 10 equals, uh, I've got real GDP is a, so 1,000 billion times the price level. So that it turns out to be 2,000 so billion, thousand billion. So that goes away. And so the price level again is 2. Okay. Now, maybe asked to do something like this too. So, say we've got this model, and it says something like um, that the, the central bank is going to increase the money supply by fifty billion. So, it's going to want to know what is the effect on the price level, and this is the kind of thing the Fed economists might do, right? So, if they're going to increase uh, money supply by fifty billion, what's going to do to prices? So, let's just do that. So, we're going to go up to uh, 250 billion. Uh, we know that the velocity of money is 10. And then uh, we know that real GDP is 1 trillion. Oops, billions. We don't know is the price level. So this ends up being 2,500 billion. And this is 1,000 billion. There's the price level. Thousand billion by one thousand billion, and so now we've got uh, two and a half percent uh, price level, or an increase in point um, five percent. Okay, so if uh, if the Fed were to do this, it would cause a half a percent uh, in inflation, inflationary increases. Okay.